Will my short sale be approved on my San Diego home or rental? Uh, hi, my name is Gary Kent. I've been a realtor in San Diego for 28 years. And you may be wondering whether your short sale will be approved. I'm going to answer that question, but from a reverse angle, and I'm going to address why short sales are denied. The number one, and I'm going to go over, um, I think it's nine reasons why short sales are denied. Please don't count because it may not be nine. Anyway, uh, the number one reason that short sales are denied is because uh, people hire an agent that is not a short sale expert. They may hire a nice real estate agent, a real estate agent they know, a real estate agent that works in the neighborhood, etc., but not an agent that really understands short sales. So that's really critical. If you don't have an agent that knows short sales, you're going to have problems and you may well be denied. So that's the first one. Uh, the second most common reason is that uh, the person starts too late and the bank forecloses on the home. So it's... Um, maybe three or four weeks away from foreclosure, or I've had some people contact me a few days before foreclosure, and the bank says, no, we're just gonna proceed with the foreclosure. So please don't wait too long to do a foreclosure. Another very common reason, sorry, to do, to do a short sale. Uh, another common reason is that uh, the seller, the owner, uh, is slow to provide documentation, etc. Uh, short sales will oftentimes move they, they usually move at a rather slow pace, but interesting, interestingly enough, the banks, while they're moving slowly, will suddenly say, we want this piece of paper by tomorrow. So it's very important that you're ready to provide documentation quickly. Um, and then another big reason, and you know, this probably is the number two reason behind uh, not having a good agent, and that is that the seller is not qualified for a short sale. I'm not going to go over all the qualifications. If you want to talk to me about whether you're qualified for a short sale, you can call me. Um, my number is 858-457-5368, uh, but that's a big reason. Then another common reason that short sales are denied is a high appraisal. So let's say that you have a home that's worth $500,000. Um, because it's a short sale and short sales tend to sell for a little bit less, uh, perhaps you have a buyer for $485,000. And the bank comes back and says, well, we want the house to sell for $550. i have had this happen before. Uh, and then what your agent has to do is negotiate with the bank and convince them that they're not realistic. And oftentimes they can be convinced, sometimes they can't be. So if the bank holds firm to an unobtainable price, then your short sale will not be approved. Um, then other times, if someone has a second or a second and a third or a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth. I've actually had that many liens on a home. Uh, it becomes a lot more difficult to do. Having a second but by itself is not that hard, but once you get into more loans or liens, it becomes more difficult. And particularly when those junior liens, as they're called, require more money than, um, than we're able to get them. And then, you know, probably uh, I'd say there are two more reasons. One is the buyer bails out at the last minute. Um, you know, they change their mind. You say, we say to them, hey, congratulations, the short sale's approved. And then the person buying the home says, well, you know what, I decided I don't want it. That realistically will happen sometimes. <clears throat> and then the last decision, or the last reason I'm going to say is the lender just makes a bad decision. So even though I've just given you all these reasons that it makes it sound, you know, that your short sale will never be approved, uh, we have most of our short, short sales approved. Statistics vary, but probably across the board, about half of short sales are approved. For us, it's my unofficial statistic would be about 85% of our short sales are approved. So uh, that's kind of a synopsis of why short sales are denied. And uh, a couple of other things. If you are thinking about whether you want to do a short sale or not, whether um, you know your options are well I'll just keep the house or do a short sale I would suggest you go to my website which is www.shortorstaysandiego.com that's shortorstaysandiego.com if you go to that site uh, plug in just a little bit of basic information it will give you three different scenarios uh, with either uh, low medium or high appreciation rates and how long it will take before your underwater home is above water and then the last thing is if you want to discuss doing a short sale, if you have some questions, if you would like to have me handle your short sale, please call me and you can call me at 
857-KENT, like the name. Remember, my name is Gary Kent. Again, that's 858-457-5368. Thank you.